When you look at the piano, you will see black and white keys on the keyboard. Before learning the white keys, let's take a close look at the black keys. Let's group the black keys into two groups, the red and the yellow. The group of red has two keys, while the group of yellow has three keys. We are going to use the location and the position of the black keys to help us to find the white keys. We are going to learn the seven letters of the musical alphabet. C, D, E, F, G, A, B. To make things easier, let's start with letter A. A is between the second and third keys of any three black key group. B is on the right of any three black key group. C is on the left of any two black key group. D is in the middle of any two black key group. E is on the right of any two black key group. F is on the left of any three black key group. G is between the first and second keys of any three black key group. In the following video, you will hear the notes on the keys of the piano. We will start with the note A. Now, listen to note B. Note C. Now you will hear D. Now get ready to listen to note E. F is the next. The last one is G. Now let's move on to the music dynamics. This time we are going to learn mezzo forte. MF stands for mezzo forte. Mezzo forte means moderately loud. Remember we learned F before in the previous lesson? F stands for forte. Forte is louder than metal forte. We also learned P. 
P stands for piano. Piano, of course, is softer than metal forty. Next, the new note value that we are going to learn today is dotted half note. Please review what we have learned in the previous lesson. We have learned quarter note and half note. Quarter note get one beat in the four four time signature, while half note get two beats. Dotted half note get three beats because it equals one half note plus one quarter note. Now let's move on to the time signature. Remember we've learned measure and bars before in a previous lesson. We've learned how to clap four quarter note in a bar or two half note in a measure. Please refresh your memory of the previous lesson, then we can continue to the next. Now let's take a close look at the four four time signature. The number four on top means there are four beats to each measure, or we can say there are four beats in a bar. The number four at the bottom means a quarter note gets one beat. Let's say if you want to make four beats to each measure, you have to put four quarter notes in each bar. You can also put two half notes in a bar or a whole note in a bar to make it four beats in a measure. If you fully understand what the time signature four four means, you should have no problem to learn the following new time signature, three four. Again, the same idea. The top number three means there are three beats to each measure. The number four at the bottom means a quarter note get one beat. Again, to make three beats to each measure, you can put three quarter notes in each bar. You can also put one half note and one quarter note in each bar. Or you can just put a dotted half note in a bar. Now let's review what we have learned today. An easy way to find the white keys is by looking at the black keys. We group black keys into two groups. One group has two keys, while the other has three keys. A is between the second and third keys of any three black key group. B is on the right of any three black key group. C is on the left of any two black key group. D is in the middle of any two black key group. E is on the right of any two black key group. F is on the left of any three black key group. G is between the first and second keys of any three black key group. The seven music alphabet are C, D, E, F, G, A, B. The new music dynamic we have learned today is M F. M F stands for mezzo forte. It means moderately loud. The new note value is dotted half. Dotted half equals one half note plus one quarter note. Dotted half get three beats in a four-four time signature. Four-four time signature. The number four on the top means four beats to each measure. The bottom four means a quarter note get one beat. Three four time signature means there are three beats to each measure, or you can say there are three beats in a bar.
The number four at the bottom means a quarter note gets one beat.